So this is a trick of using your hands for working out your six, seven, eight, nine, and 10 times tables. Now, most of you won't need it for your 10 times tables. However, um, I certainly uh, find it really useful for things like seven times eight or six times seven. Let me demonstrate. First of all, what we can do is take a sheet of paper and we're going to draw round our hands. And what I want you to make sure you do is make sure that, that these two fingers here are touching. I will explain what my fingers are all about in a minute. So I've drawn around my fingers and now I'm going to number them just like my fingers are numbered at the moment. Now I've put stickers on the back of my fingers. If you want to do this, um, then uh, by all means do it, um, perhaps with, with some paper and sellotape if you don't have any stickers. So we are going to start by learning 7 multiplied by 7. What's 7 multiplied by 7? Well, some of you possibly already know it's 49. And what we're going to do is demonstrate how that works. So looking at my hands, if you take your 7 and your 7 fingers and you put them together, then you count the number of fingers that are touching and the number of fingers that are below. So you add together the number of fingers that are touching and the numbers of fingers are below. It doesn't matter what's, what the numbers are on those fingers, what we're doing is counting. One, two, three, four. The number of fingers that are touching and the number of fingers that are below. That is our tens. Four tens is 40. So what I'm gonna do is just highlight those fingers that are touching and those fingers that are below. Four fingers equals four times 10, which equals 40. So the first number we have is 40. So I'm gonna write this down here, 40. I'm gonna add an add and add. <laughs> add an addition symbol. Then what we do, we've got 40 and we've used those fingers already, but we've still got some fingers left over. Again, it doesn't matter what the number is on them. I've got three fingers on this side and I have three fingers on this side. And what we need to do is we need to multiply. We need to multiply these three fingers and these three fingers together. 3 multiplied by 3 equals 9. So let's demonstrate that as well. And let's draw this onto our diagram. So I have three fingers and three fingers. Three multiplied by three. So here we multiplied it by 10. We added the fingers on both hands and we multiplied by 10 to get to 40. These are our tens. One, two, three, four fingers. Here we count the fingers on one hand and then we multiply it by the fingers on the other hand equal to nine. Then we come down to our original equation here. Seven times seven is 40 plus the nine that is just here. And that 40 plus nine equals 49. Well, you might tell me that uh, you already know that seven times seven is 49. Well, the one that I always struggle with is seven times eight. So it doesn't matter which way round you do this. It could be the seven on this hand, on your right hand, or it could be the seven on your left hand because multiplication is commutative. It means that we can have seven multiplied by eight or eight multiplied by seven. It doesn't matter which way around you do it, the answer is still the same. So I take my seven finger and, in fact, I'm gonna turn this over. So 
so I have my seven finger and I have my eight finger and I put them together and then what am I doing well the first step is to count the fingers that are touching and all the fingers that are below one two three four five I have five fingers that is my 50 because we start with five tens seven multiplied by eight or eight multiplied by seven equals we start with a 50 and then so we've got our 50 here and then what do we have well we have three here and we have two here so we take the three and we multiply it by the two fingers we take the three fingers and we multiply it by the two fingers three multiplied by two is six so we put here six and then we get 56 what about six multiplied by seven this is another one that i find really tricky seven six multiplied by seven or seven multiplied by six equals so six on one hand seven on the other we're looking at counting the fingers that are can, are touching and the finger that is underneath how many fingers do i have one two three i have three fingers here so it's 30 that i write so that's my three fingers six and seven three fingers and then what have i got well i've got four here and three here what does four multiplied by three equal well four multiplied by three is 12 and 30 plus 12 30 plus 12 is 42 so 6 multiplied by 7 is 42 7 multiplied by 6 is 42 and this trick works with all of these numbers it can start with a 10 9 8 7 or 6 and the the second number can be a 6 7 8 9 10 and you can do it for every single number remember when you're using a 10 though that you're going to have zero fingers above so you, you will have zero units zero ones okay so zero ones if you had ten tens for instance you'd end up with ten fingers underneath and you'd have zero multiplied by zero so there would be just the tens